catching up with folks here during the off season and using the studio, of course, as a way so I don't have to drive all over the place. Uh, one of these guys here that I've not been to his place yet, but he comes at racing from a couple of different ways. Not only does he race a lot, 37 starts last year, finished fourth in points in the modified division at Outlaw, won a championship at Batavia, four wins there. One of those was a Sportsman Super Dirt Car Series win. But uh, 29-year-old Phil Vicnary Jr. has been able to work in racing as well. He has a business called Reptile Graphics. Make sure to look them up on Facebook. They have several pages. So he basically is racing 24-7. Just got married a little over a year ago, so he's not uh, technically a newlywed. Let's head out to Elba, New York. Phil Vicnary Jr., or excuse me, the third, joins us here. Jr. is his dad. If you talk to him on the phone, you'd be confused because they sound exactly like Phil. How we doing, man? <laughs> I'm good, Doug. How is business? What are we doing today? Business is good. We're just uh, running some prints for a construction company. It's a big gig I got that I've been working on for a few weeks, so just tying that up and uh, saw that today. How about the race cars? How do they look today? Um, well, no race wraps in here today. Um, our own cars are going together. We got one going together. We're actually going to um, go to Florida to the Short Track Super Series uh, event at All Tech, so we're couple weeks away from that so we're just tying up some loose ends on that car so when is the races at uh, florida um i believe the practice is the seventh so it's the uh i want to say it's the eighth through the twelfth if i'm not mistaken so uh, we'll be down there the whole week have you been down there before no i've never raced in florida i never really got the chance uh when we were farming we were always busy and even with this place, uh, I've always kind of been busy in the winter months with all the race cars we've done in the past. And this year, me and my dad kind of looked at each other and said, well, you know, we've been working really hard. Let's, uh, we feel like we uh, deserve it. So let's take a, you know, a trip that we've always wanted to do and go see how we fare. A lot of guys tell me that when they do this, it's kind of maybe a third vacation and two thirds racing. Is that about how you see it? Yeah, I, I think the golf clubs are coming. So they are. We're try to have some fun while we're down there. Oh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I'm glad. I'm hoping to, that you were going to say that. It wasn't going to be all racing. Is this the same car we ran at Outlaw, or is, is one of these two cars you have a newer one? So I'm taking my car that I did run at Outlaw last year, um, and I we have a crate sportsman engine that uh, we put in it, and that's the car I'm going to be uh, in Florida with this year. Oh, so it'll be sportsman, not short track super series correct. modifies correct okay correct that has to be tough going back and forth um it can be i mean uh they're two totally different disciplines they're both extremely difficult but they're two different styles um but uh you know i've uh i think we're gonna build two sportsmen this year we've done quite a bit of traveling with doing outlaw weekly that's about two hours from us and we did that for the last two years so i think we're gonna Try to find a Friday night home with our sportsman that's a little closer and be able to run, uh, you know, possibly some bigger races throughout the year with a sportsman. I really never um, raced a lot of tour races in sportsmen. I've done a lot in modified, but never really uh, gave it a shot at sportsmen. So that's kind of the plan for this year. We're talking dirt car sportsmen or American racer tire sportsmen or both? I'm going to be doing some of both, I think. Um, like I said, I've been doing a lot of modified stuff and kind of taking my lumps, to be honest, the last, you know, six years or so. And I feel like I've learned a lot and I kind of want to go back and see, you know, I see a few guys in the last few years that have had big years like Cody McPherson and, uh, you know, Zach Sabatka, Tommy Collins. And, uh, you know, I'd, I'd really love to have a year like that where we can get, you know, a bunch of wins and we've never really went for it. So I think that's... Uh, and one of our goals this year to see how much we can win. Do you have some options for Friday that you're thinking about, or would you rather not say? We do. Here? Yeah, we do. Um, you know, obviously Outlaw still in the equation to go. I think we're going to – I think it's going to be between uh, Ransomville and Outlaw going back and forth between the two. Um, mm-hmm. Ransomville's a lot closer. It's less than an hour be. from where we are. So, so yeah, and it's a track I really like. So uh, I think that's kind of the, uh, the game plan. So getting back to Victory Lane, after you said you were beaten up a little bit in Modifieds, I would imagine that's done a little bit to help your confidence, hasn't it? Yeah, it's nice to, you know, race back at home and get some wins. I think, uh, 
you know, I'm driving for a car owner named Ray Smith now. I think we got a dozen wins together in the last three years. So that's been really fun. And just doing it at my home track where my dad and uncle won championships at and to be able to win one on my own and win a bunch of races there when my family can be present and not have to drive far. It's, uh, it's brought a lot of fun back into it for me and for my wife and for my whole family. Is that the 12V we're looking at in this picture? Yes, that's the 12V. That's owned by a good friend of mine named Ray Smith. Okay, and that's one of his Victory Lanes photos from this past year, September 18th, as a matter of fact, is when that one was right there. So how much modified stuff do you think you may do? I'm not sure. We're going to build our own modified Um I don't know what it's going to be yet, if it's going to be like an Outlaw-style modified or a 358 or what. Um, I think that's going to be the last decision we make. Um, I'm probably going to dabble in Pennsylvania a little bit. I've done that. Okay, so spec 358 stuff, yeah. So and just, uh, you know, I'm going to commit to Genesee on Saturdays. That's going to be really the only full-time commitment. I'm kind of use the other days of the week to bounce around, maybe take a few weeks off and, go on a golf trip or something and, uh, you know, just enjoy it. Of course, Raptile Graphics is his business. I know a lot of people with similar businesses. Uh, they, they each have different percentages that are non-racing related and racing related. So which uh, are you? Are you doing more non-racing or more racing stuff? Um, you know, definitely over the years it's become, especially this year, it's kind of transitioned out of racing a little bit more. Um, um, I have a, I actually have a schedule of race cars already booked for this winter, so I'm not taking any more race car customers until okay. the summer. So that's good. Um, I've it kinda, means you're busy. I don't want, right. I don't want to say I'm cutting back, but I'm kind of, uh, you know, leaving some openings mm-hmm. for some other opportunities that I've been given through companies and whatnot. And I've got, you know, about 20 cars that uh, have been with me for a long time, and I kind of gave them first dibs at the schedule, and yeah. those are the guys I'm going to take care of first. Yeah, so if they need something at midseason, they get in a wreck or somebody rips a panel off, you're there for them. But but I, I talk to a lot of other people who do this, and they say the other work can tend to be a little more reliable and consistent, let's say. Is that fair to say? Yeah, I mean, the, the, the race cars are usually an every-year thing for most guys. Um, the plus with it is I can pair it with my dad's business. He's building, um, you know, bodies for modifieds and doing shock work and all sorts of stuff for modifieds now. So we can, we can kind of pair it together, but yeah, some of the businesses I work for to, I mean, it's hard to turn it away just to, you know, the type of, like I said, I'm working on a construction bid that I won a few weeks ago right now. So, I mean, it's hard to, hard to turn that stuff down, especially after, uh, you know, being in this business for so long and kind of, you know, there was, there was years I did 80 race cars and I can tell you that anybody that owns one of these businesses knows how much work race cars are. They're a lot of work. They are. Um, they're fun, they're, but they're a labor of love, I guess. They really are. Reptile Graphics, also Reptile Shop. There's a couple different ways you can get a hold of him. Go right on Facebook. Easy way to do it. And if you can't find him, just message me, and I'll help you do it. We got uh, only about a little more over a minute left. I know you did promote some races for a while. Is that a side of the sport you'd like to go back to, or are we done putting the promoter's hat on, do you think? Um, I guess we'll have to see if the right opportunity presents itself. I'd definitely be willing to, you know, do another gladiator. But uh, right now, as it stands, we're not going to – we didn't do one last year. I'm not sure about this year. Probably not. Um, It's it's a lot of work, obviously. I don't, you know, make any money off of it or anything. I just do it because it was fun to, you know, get get big blocks back to Genesee. They hadn't – you know, on our first year, it was the first big block race in 30 years at Genesee. So I think that was kind of just like a goal for me and my dad to okay. get the class back. But we'll see. All right. Please say hi to Dad for me. And I talked to your father a few we'll weeks do. ago. Like I said, and I thought it was you. I mean, I couldn't believe it. I was like, <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. He's junior. I thought Phil the third was the race car driver. So please give a hug for me, and I'll make sure I get out and see you guys before everything gets all done. Okay, man? Sounds good. Turn on notifications, hit the likes, leave comments, all that good stuff, and, of course, subscribe if you can. And uh, we're doing Doug's Dirt Diary here on YouTube. I hope you guys like it.